Okay, so I want to show you the process of refilling the acid neutralizer on uh, this. This is a uh, Lancaster Water uh, City Soft um, combo unit, um, neutralizer and water softener in one. Um, and as you can see, the neutralizer level, uh, the calcium carbonate level is down pretty far. It should be, when you fill it, it should be about 10 inches, it's about there, below the fill line, below the, the spout line. So um, I guess that's about 10 right there. We'll measure that. Um, so what we're going to do first is uh, put it in bypass and then depressurize it. Okay, so the first step is to put the tank in bypass, and to do that, you just close both of these valves, or take them and point them towards each other, like so, and that uh, puts, shuts the valves and allows the water to go through instead of into the tank. So the next step then is to release the pressure, and to do that, we'll use the valve controls and uh, if your screen is not lit, um, you just need to hit a button first to, to light it up. Okay, then you press and hold the regen button. And it'll go into fill mode. Then once that completes, you have to wait till each uh, the valve motor completes the valve change. And then you can hit the button again, go to the next step. and then it, it's in softening, and then you hit it again, and it goes to backwash. Now, at that point, the pressure is released. Um, now, this thing's going to keep going through its cycles. So, if you want, you can send it to the, the end and, so that it's not doing any timing. This is how we'll finish then, of course. So just keep hitting it. It's gonna take a minute. Um, we will get to a rinse mode, and I'll show you this later. And then the last one puts it back in softening. But since we still have it in bypass, there's no more pressure in it. So um, it's safe at this point to open it up and just let it be in its normal run mode. So to open the fill, um, you can just use a channel lock. And uh, they do make a wrench, but this works. And we'll do that. Oh, um, and when you do open it, some water will be in here up to this level, and that will come out. Um, now you can take a bucket or just have some towels. It's not a lot of water. So Open that up. Probably be more water than this because I did have this loosened from before. Like I said, um, it's not that much water, so a, a towel will work. So then to drain it, take a length of hose and the bucket and then you just put this in here. I'm going to try and get it in there a little bit so that it um, uh, so that it drains your water level down far enough. 
And since the bucket is on the floor, it will siphon that water out. As you can see. So just let that. Just let that. So once you get it siphoned out, and I got about five gallons out. Um, then you need a funnel, and I just kind of made my own out of plastic. Some people will take a a, a laundry detergent uh, container and flip it upside down and cut the bottom off, um, and then use that to fill. Um, of course, they make funnels just for this. Um, and then we're going to fill it with uh, calcite, and best tip I can give you is to put the calcite in a bucket just to make it easier to, to handle. So I'll show you that here. It creates a lot of dust, so just be aware of that you need a mask depending on how much dust you're going to create. And then you just keep filling it. So, <clears throat> With the light shining behind it, you can see that since my the funnel basically just poured it in here and whatever method you use, it's going to get in there. It's going to fill, you know, in a pile. But then once it fills up and and cycles, it, it'll level back out. So, and then here's my mark for 10 inches. So between the way that slopes, um, that's probably just a little overfilled, but. That line is 10 inches from the top of the tank to there. So then we'll put the cap back on. Um, just some stuff will get in these threads. It'll just make it easier to put this back on if you just clean them out a little bit. You can see that it's kind of hanging on something. Yep. And there we go. Probably missed a piece or something, but it will go on. And then just snug it down. Don't over tighten it. Be able to feel it. So now I'm going to return it to where we are in the cycle. So remember, hit the button to get it to turn on, then hold the regen. And this is all before we've opened the valves. We'll go into fill, hit the button again. Third time. That puts us in the backwash. So that's where we were. So um, what we'll do is slowly turn on the supply. Slowly. Not that slow. slowly turn on the return and then we'll hit regen again we're going to go all the way to the rinse cycle pass air release Now we're at the rinse cycle, and that's a five-minute rinse. And what the instructions advise for this model that you let it um, be and let it cycle, go through the rinse process. Because if I hit the button again, it'll actually return it to softening. And uh, it basically says just let it go through this and uh, let it return to softening naturally. And uh, 
you know, just check this, make sure you don't have any leaks, and you're done. So the level of my tank when measured from the top of the tank was probably down somewhere to 25 to 30 inches from the top. So now it's at 10 inches, so that's 15 to 20 inches of calcite that I put in. And that was a 50 pound bag and that's how they normally sell it. So um, based on that you can judge a little bit about how much it takes to, to fill.